Hi, this is Mr. Dang, and for today's Friday Functions, I'd like to introduce you to easing equations. You might already be using some animations inside your apps, but if you want it to move more smoothly, an easing equation can help with that. It's different from a linear function, which moves at a constant rate. An easing equation starts off slowly, it gradually picks up speed, and then it decelerates to the end. Let's check out how it works inside an app. I'll play this app. If I click this hamburger button, let me reset this. If I click the hamburger button, the rectangle slides out. If I click it again, it slides away. Let's check out how this works. Inside this hamburger button, I'm using two variables, show and hide. The show variable is reversed each time this is clicked. The show variable is going to be activating this timer to be turning on. But if I flip the show variable false, how am I supposed to make this timer work? That's why I need the second variable, hide. It does the same thing by activating the timer, but it allows us to keep the show variable false, which is going to be used for determining the position of the rectangle. Let's dig into this timer. The timer, as I said earlier, can be activated by either show or hide variable. It'll be reset by the same variables, and it'll auto start by the same variables. When the timer ends, it will return both of those variables false. This is done so that you could activate those variables again by clicking the hamburger button. Let's look inside the rectangle. The show variable is going to be determining whether this rectangle is sliding out or sliding in. If it is sliding in, in other words, if it's being shown, it will start at the position off screen. So that's the width of this rectangle in the negative direction. I want to add its width so that it slides in, but I don't want to add all of its width at a time. So I'm going to subtract its a fraction of its width at a time, but not at a linear rate. I want to subtract it uh, as it's calculated by the cosine function. So it's gradually, uh, gradually uh, decreasing. Next, if I am sliding the, uh, if I'm sliding the rectangle away so that it's off screen, I want to start at the position where it ended up. So it ended up at position 0 when it's fully inside the screen. And then I want to subtract it uh, the same width at the top, the same function, but I'm subtracting it uh, a little bit at a time. I'll show it again. I slide in with uh, the cosine function, and then I gradually slide out. If you'd like to learn more about easing equations, I've included a sample app inside the description of this video where there's a link to the easing equations so you can check out other ways of calculating the same thing. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to see more interesting power apps, please subscribe.